All right, we're starting. Here we are, wonderful day in Magic Carp Festival, and our win uh, losers sem semis. Oh yeah, you're right. Just yeah, we did all in standstill. Let's go. Decidueye versus Garchomp. This is projectile battle. And Fear, I like the Fear doesn't starve with the yellow Spear Chuck. It's the dumbest thing in the world. Not really. It's just really annoying. All right, counter battle. Trying to dig under that stuff. But Decidueye combo because it is hard to get out of dig when you are versus Decidueye, is what I'm seeing. Actually, so I think it's hard to get out of dig in general, unless you catch the hitting button. Oh no, Fiora's got that re er, the conditioning on the air grab. Do a beautiful combo on the wall. I'm not gonna say it. Nope, oh, okay. It was almost perfect. Apparently that's enough to jinx it. But it doesn't matter because uh, Decidueye has burst now. You can do a lot of things. Taking down that armor like it's nothing. Fiora, of course, is playing incredibly safe. A repeat of Dreamhack Denver, sort of. In fact, this is the second time they met in this bracket, too, so that's pretty interesting. Remember, the Dreamhack Denver uh, match was like one of the most hypest matches. If you ever come across the pods, you should totally watch it. Um, Alright, that's the Ola Spear Shackle that bothers me, and that's what happens when you use Spear Shackle. You get dug. However, Fiora's not taking that. She's been like on these grabs all day. That's the, she got me with a ton of them earlier. That's half of the reason I'm not here. Who was the other half? Uh, uh. Okay, interesting mix-ups from uh, SK Dale right there. Other right idea? A little bit of funny business. Okay, there we go. That's the mix-ups we need. Into Sand Tomb. Can't get the combo course because we're nowhere near a wall. Gonna respect Amolga from Decidueye. Decidueye gonna respect Litten. He tried and didn't do much. However, while watching Litten, Fiora gets hit by a Garchomp combo into the wall. It is suffering at red health right now. Sand, Pocket Sand, is going to beat out Spear Shaggle. Uh, Frenzy Plant will clash with Aerial Release X, and Fiora has burst. Why do you have burst again? Garchomp hasn't even had it once yet. Well, that's what happens when you play uh, like that. Go, 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 go. Alright, Garchomp's still alive. So, do it. Yes, thank you. Oh, crazy burst combo. I'm not sure like what buttons that is, but whatever that is, it's beautiful. Fiora will take the first game. Alright, no changes into game two. No, this is still semi, so I believe it's still 2 and 3 uh, Fiora's got some nice spacing on these Decidueye stuff. A little bird hop speed everywhere. Escadale will not take that. Gets around, but he still gets Decidueye's or gets hit by Decidueye's recovery combo. Dig is apparently good on Spear Shackle. That's pretty awesome. I love things that use Decidueye this early in the meta. Sigi of course, the Sigioi mains are all over these combos, apparently, because they're just doing amazing things. Alright, he's not taking grabs. Skadale will punish- I don't think that's gonna hit. Unless- I oh, it does! Skadale knows his support. Awesome. Garchomp pressure going to catch Sigioi. I don't know if that was the main counter or what, but it was caught. Alright, a little early on the grab frames, it doesn't matter because she had to get out of jail free card. Anyway, Stone Edge going to catch that, which is pretty awesome. Release X that, but there's no way it's going to kill because it's scaling into Oblivion. Alright, Escadale respecting a lot of things. Autocorrect not saving Decidueye, but uh, Sucker Punch scored a did. But then, I actually don't know, that was a lot, but anyway, he ate. Uh, Escadale ate wise of that grab and takes that round. Yeah, Evian over there remarking on what a good sport Decidueye is as a character, because he's not angry. He does have a nice grab range. Not broken, if you want to go watch our VOD later, because, uh, totally you can drag me through it. Um, alright. Burst Chomp, gonna get hit by that Emolga, so it's gonna be super duper slow. If you guys pushing him against the wall, so he's not a lot to run anyway. Punishable 8Y, going to get hit. 
Alright, he's running out of time to use up this burst. Dig actually goes under the tornado, and that is a punishable pizza cutter. Alright, now Decidueye has a free get out of jail. Get out of jail free card. And I'm sure SKD will do that, so that's why he didn't mash burst and land something horribly unsafe. It's a good call on his part. Alright, this is, the, like, incredibly intimidating. Very little that can happen now, and it's just nature fighting at this point. Oh, Stone Edge calling that out. Good job, and now Decidueye's out of burst. Unless she mashes it, she's not gonna get it. Alright, SKD. Alright. Getting difficult. It's okay, we can still got this. Set point for Fiora, though. Good calls on her. Alright, what do we got? Safe pizza cutter will be eaten by that Decidueye counter. Alright, there we go. SKDL punching that air grab that plagues so many new players and people that just can't react to it. Um, that counter is gonna tick off his support, but he release X's that grabs. He's tired of these grabs, and quite honestly, so am I. Alright, he's got a good lead right now. Totally take this round. Pockets ain't gonna give him the field shift. We got Fiora cornered, but they are, he's giving her a lot of space because he doesn't want to get hit by that. But she still gets him with that Decidueye aerial combo and all these buttons, and she will take the face shift this time and get the pressure. Litten coming out. There we go. Did that actually pierce counter? I don't know that, but alright. It did some good things. Alright, it's still anybody's game because they both got burst. However, Escadale's looking good. He's playing super patient right now. Uh, I'm not sure. I think he meant to hit something. I'm sure he did. He's been having control, I think, all day. There we go. Now, Decidueye's pressure is, like, dwindling to nothing because that burst is gone, that support is now gone. Oh, but she's gonna combo out of a Molga. What have we got? Ooh, okay. He knows that Fiora's just gonna shield it because she's probably expecting the burst. Though she's there. He's going to take this game. Good calls from SK Dale. 1-1. One, one. I believe it's still 2 out of 3. Yes, it is. Alright, next game takes the thing. Takes the cake. What have we got? Alright, projectile war. Kind of, this is very similar to like the first game, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of just trading, trading, trading. And SK Dale will take that first phase shift. Stone Edge going to punish Frenzy Clan, which was beautiful, into the wall, into an X, and of course that scaling's just killing him right now. But he's going to get the field changed. I don't actually know whose field is stronger. I would say Decidueye's uh, obligation, I guess, because stuff like that. And Spirit Shackles, just range is insane. Uh, YOLO uh, Dragon Drill from uh, SK Dale. I think it's 5x. We had reverse maze the other day and I started learning some of these things. I don't know why 5x gotta be unsafe. Dig is of course unsafe, so Fiora will punish that. Alright, what do we got? Going to knock Fiora out of the air with those dragon claws. Almost denies the emboldened by jumping over, but Fiora will combo out of that into a combo. She's got a lot of work to do, she's gonna catch up, but fortunately she's going to get an attack buff from all this rage. And now she's in burst. She got a ton of pressure, tons of opportunity to bring this back. It's still gonna be difficult because Garchomp will do a ton of damage. Oh my goodness, what was that trade? That was crazy. We don't want anybody. Not potential. Okay, is this gonna work? Yes, this works. We saw this earlier, and it's going to work. All right, we're gonna take this round with a beautiful owl burst. There we go. Not the highest damage burst, but it does do a very, very average amount of damage. We got another trade war. These two are just good at, you know, respecting and being safe around each other. But I guess that a lot of them are taking their face shifts based on countering somebody with a random attack. Uh, I'm not sure what to say about that. And then sometimes, you know, they counter and then they cancel and they go back and blah blah blah. Something about these two that just they particularly seem to be in each other's heads and face for the days. Yeah. Alright. Burst from Miska Dale. You don't die with Burst. However, he's gonna take that uh, sucker punch. Yeah, Fiora's gotta get out of jail free card. 
Oh, he punishes that spirit shackle beautifully. Or sorry, sucker punch. Yeah, I'm getting these backwards. They start with S. Thing. Confirmed it is the thing. Okay, so that's good. Dale lost his pressure, but now Fiori's gonna lose hers because they both legally have no burst attack and no burst mode at this point. No support, so that hurts as Kedale's lit Oh, goodness gracious. He's still alive, though. Wait, he got Litten back? Alright, he did. Got a lot of work to do. Plain and sick. Alright, oh no! Gets grabbed, crushed, and Fiora will take this game. Skillful play from both of them. 